to talk about challenges. What are those? Is, do you have those identified already for the region? And and maybe the subsequent question would be, how do you see you know the ecosystem, the companies or the Spentalex actors here in the region? Are they you know going in the direction of addressing those challenges? Do you do you think there is the critical mass here? to address them in the mid to long term? From the beginning, three years ago, we were about uh, 10 uh, different uh, um, actors really involved in the digital arena. Today we have involved, and they were mostly regional. Uh, but now we are 500 uh, during these first three years of the, this uh, innovation ecosystem building. Uh, we are now 540 different actors both regionally, but also nationally and globally. So we're working very closely, but because we have to connect to others, because the regional strengths areas, they are not, they are very good, but we are have to focus them on helping others, other people to solve the complex challenges because they are not regional. The complex challenges are not really. If, you, if we were talking to health, it's a world problem. And when it comes to climate, it's, it's a world problem. Uh, when, so, so we have to focus on how can we put our strengths areas into use in services really to, so, to, to, to help many. So, 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 so how can we help many by services when it comes to our service research center we have in, in our region, when it comes to cybersecurity competence we have in our region, when it comes to test competence. And I have an example, really, because we are, we are now, we have applied for to be a, a, a European Digital Innovation Hub when it comes to health data. And then we have connected uh, 18 different actors in Sweden, very specialized on different parts of health data development and how to use that. And the, 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 the main purpose of the, 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 this uh, European Digital Innovation Hub is to help small, medium companies and public sector to really interact when it comes to health data. How to use big, uh, big health data to create new services. So, uh, uh, so the new services for you and me, really, to, to, make, to live a healthier life. So, so, so that's uh, that's the way to do, we do it. We connect to, to a lot of others. In this particular in this particular case, I imagine in these hospitals, you know, SME developing services, you know, the public sector. So, in order to have, you know, as you said, better services, I'm, I guess we are talking about, you know, um, um, machine learning or artificial intelligence and so on and so forth, yeah, right? Yeah, but, but health data is at least so the the. the you have to have a, a, a quali qualified uh, or certified or, or quality assured uh, health data to really work well with AI and mm -hmm. machine learning sure. and so on. So, so, so that's why we are focusing on providing health data for innovation in, the, in, that, in that case. But we also really think that we are also focusing on preventive health. So, so and personalized health. So when you're, when you're going to personalized health, then you have to really have health data. And, and it's your data, it's not my data. Uh, today we really work with data more like uh, 50 year man people or something like that. Uh, but, but, but I want to, we want to really work with data connected to the person. Uh, so, so that's a, a, a big mission really.